next? I'm Patty, and I'm Joe's oldest daughter. Okay. Joe Picorni? Okay. Go on, guys. I'm Ryan, and I'm eight years 
years old, and my mom's name is Kathy, and my dad's name is Ron. You're on. Hi, my name is Michael Kataki, and I'm Mamie Lily's grandson and Carol's son, Ken Techie's son also. Um, and I'm his aunt. This is my You've already aunt. introduced yourself. Okay, cut <laughs> Norma. Norma. And this is... I'm already a little bit. I'm already a little bit. I'm already a little bit. Yourself. Otherwise, okay. we throw you overboard. All right. And what am I supposed to say? Who you are, who you are and exactly. your lineage. I'm Lisa Forty. It's for the youngest daughter. That's stop now. Hey, okay, you're on. We're now approaching the conference of the American and Central Hey, my name is Carmen, and I'm Carol's daughter, uh, Patty's granddaughter, and Joe's great-granddaughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
she could put the coal in the furnace and have the room hot by the time they got there. And then the routine was that every kid had to stand in line or something like this. And she went through and she checked for clean ears and clean fingernails and all this kind of stuff. Uh, because that was part of the requirements of being acceptable to be in school, was to be clean. Uh, and in addition to read and write and arithmetic, there was a lot done in terms of needlework. Well, the students were learning embroidery, uh, knitting, crocheting, that sort of thing. And I still have some things that I did when I would go to school with her uh, that uh, I wasn't even old enough to be in the first grade yet. I was learning how to do the embroidery along with the other students. So there was a whole range of stuff that went on in a classroom besides um, just the four R's, which were, of course, emphasized. Um, but my, my, my memories are, are um, vague. Some things I'm not sure if I remember because I imagined them or they really happened. And uh, I would like to hear what other people remember about being out there as well. So when you feel like you have something to contribute, contribute, please stand up and tell us what you remember because it's very interesting to everybody else. Thanks. Cornflakes with hot coffee. Yes, oh, yes. I remember that. Remember? Now. That's right. Cornflakes out of the cupboard. And we never had it was never running water at Jenna's and there was never any electricity. So it was lamps. He came over to the farm to get water in a boiler and he drove um, an uh, old car before the 55, what was Jenna's old car? 30, 35 Ford. The 35 Ford, and he was hard of hearing toward, you know, in the later years, and when he used to come over and get water, we could hear him start the Ford, because he'd rev it up, and then he'd come on over and we'd meet him at the gate and open the gate. And there was one other thing I remembered about Jenna, always told the same April Fool joke. <laughs> April 1 about the geese. He'd say, oh, look at the geese flying over, and we'd all look, and he'd laugh, and he'd pull out on us every single day. That's what I remember. <laughs> you started a gas washing machine, but it would go put, 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 put the whole time it was washing, and uh, then I remember going to the bathroom, the old tin toilet and once in a while finding a snake in the way between the house and the, the toilet. That wasn't real pleasant, especially if you're in a hurry to get out there. Um, I don't know, it was just fun living out there. Fun? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we she had just fun. She just had a weird sense of humor. I mean, it was, it was a kid's paradise. Because Joe and Francis had there just a little while. Try <laughs> being there for 18 years. <laughs> well, probably I would have thought differently. But Joe and Francis had those old cars parked around their buildings. The, you know, and we used to play in uh, their kids and and Norma and I. I don't, I don't know. You should have been on the hay rack with my dad and always make a mistake, boy. You never heard the last of it. Oh, well, see, we didn't get in on the back. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we loved it. We were had the header. He he fixed his own, uh, you know, a header out of a binder, and we had to we drove along with the hay rack, and we we would fall in there. Well, I drove the one he was on, and boy, if I made a mistake, which I did, and often pulled the header. Attachment off of there, no wonder, I guess. <laughs> he didn't like that. He slowed him down, but yeah. And the boys, well, Mamie drove the, she drove the binder. She was, remember? She drove the binder. The boys were on one wagon, two of my brother, two of Frank were on the one, my dad and I on the other, and my mother was Thank on you. the haystack. She was stacking, in August, she was stacking hay. And when my kid brother was born in October, he was still still up on the up on the They don't make one of like that anymore, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. My brother, incidentally, <laughs> was a total <laughs> surprise <laughs> to <laughs> family <laughs> and the neighborhood. <laughs> People you would stop one you? another on the way to and from town, and the Pacornies have a boy. And my mother was mortified. At 44, and she had this kid, 
and he didn't have a stitch of clothes when he was born. I, I found it out from my what you say. Continue with your story. I found it out from my. I went to the. Uh, we were in high school, and my brother and a friend of his were going away from town. My friend and I were going toward town, and they were giggling, and they thought, "Well, did you hear the surprise?" Well, of course I hadn't. I'd been to the big store we called in McNamara. So the clerk there said, you have a baby brother. He said, I'd give five dollars to see you look like that again. <laughs> <laughs> she was there. She lived at home. She didn't know until... They didn't tell me that they were going to have this baby? No. Mom didn't know until no. Gitta told her to get the towels and heat the water. She taught school and she lived at home and she didn't know. He came on Halloween, I think the witches brought him. Now, <laughs> 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 I remember he yeah, the witches in the room. The saint brought him. <laughs> so anyway, so that was one of the big surprises of our life, wasn't it? And the farmers stopped each other on the way to and from town with the news. The Pacorians had a son. My mother was mortified. She, she wanted to keep it a secret forever. forever. She, had, huh? she wanted to keep it a secret forever. I guess. I guess. <laughs> so what else do you want to know? It was Joe rugged has a, out Joe there. Joe has a story you. to tell on you and Mamie. Huh? Joe has a story to tell on you and Mamie. Which one? <laughs> <laughs>
So that's what I remember about going to the farm. So I remember him, he'd rubberneck, he'd walk backwards. When Oliver would come to see me out there, he'd just walk backwards so he could see everything that went on. And it's a wonder he didn't trip or fall. But then he had a down pat, so he could see everything that we're doing. And you know, that wasn't so good, Edward. That was so good. He had to go everywhere with us. We went to get cows, he had to go with us. We went to get berries, he had to go with us. But always craning is to go and pick mushrooms. Uh, because they grew wild, and then we'd have mushrooms and scrambled eggs uh, for dinner, for breakfast. I can remember the uh, butchering on the farm. I used that to a great advantage when I went off to school, because I went to a boarding school when I went to college, and there wasn't enough food. And so uh, when I was in college, I'd, I'd uh, talk about butchering and oh, eating okay. blood sausage and Thank making you. sausage. And, all the city kids would go, Ugh, and they'd leave the table, and the farm kids would have plenty to eat. We used to walk, uh, the, Aunt Emma talked about going berry picking. We used to have uh, choke cherries and uh, what were those little buffalo sour berries? berries, buffalo berries, and go get them and make jelly. Um, I used to go with Grandma when she when she would pick the berries, but I don't remember making the jelly. I was probably disappeared. Uh, she died when I was eight, uh, but before that, we were best buddies. Um, mother used to work in the garden, and I remember taking a nap in the summertime, and nobody was home because mother was in the garden, dad was in the field, so I was trucking over to grandpa's, which was over the hill. Have all of you been to the farm? And there was a cow path, and here was this big bull snake laying there. And so I walked way around him, and then I ran on. But I'll never forget him. He looked awfully big. I don't think he was, but he looked awfully big to a little gal. Um, that's, those are probably my biggest recollections. Uh, like I say, Buddy and I, uh, Bubby and I used to walk to Jerinkus. Uh, the neighbors, how far away are Jerinkus? And uh, Mrs. Jarenka always had, um, well, Mrs. Blazik always had lemon drops, and Mrs. Um, Jarenka always had uh, the little moon um, jelly candies. And whenever we went, but we always had to go uh, and come back in time to cook dinner. So we'd go in the afternoon, we'd walk over there, we'd visit both of the ladies, and then I'd get my candy, and then we had to walk back. And that was before I went to school. The year that Aunt Mamie taught me, Aunt Mamie, didn't we finish that year at the school there um, on Sheep Creek or somewhere where we taught, you taught the Darlingtons? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's my recollection too. Okay, was that the same year? That was the same year. We started at Jetta's house, yeah. and then something happened to the teacher yeah. over there, yeah. and then Mamie and I were, and the that we would drive over there. And Linda, where's Linda? She couldn't say her name, and we used to tease her terribly because as she was learning to talk, we'd say, What's your name? Winda Wooey, Winda Wooey. <laughs> <laughs> and we were merciless because you know how mean kids are? Do you remember that? No. <laughs>
in the Loma Valley. Yeah, between the two girls. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you get that first? I remember that yeah. house, but I don't remember you ever being on the farm. Huh. I remember Don and Dave coming to the farm and Aunt Emma and Uncle Oliver one time, and we got in the chicken coop and broke a bunch of eggs. Dad, do you remember that? Oh, yes. <laughs> Summer or part of the summer, 
and we'd walk to Jetta's house and he'd give us Oreos and those devil food, devil's food cookies, those cake, mm -hmm. chocolate cookies, and silver dollars. Oh, mm, dollars? Sometimes silver dollars, <laughs> yeah, oh. really old ones. Like, you know, from, well, really old to us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> some were from the 40s, some were, I think I have a 1928, which I still have some of them. And then the story about the frogs was Rick and I. I was there for the summer and I had these new white galoshes for the following school year. And I had on these white galoshes and we went down to the swamp in this black Montana mud. And I had those white galoshes on and we were catching frogs and we were stuffing them in gallon jars. Uh, it was a two gallon, at least a two gallon glass pickle jar. And we had that thing stuffed full. I mean it was frogs all over the outside, clear to the top. And I kept screaming, I got one of my shoe, I got one of my shoe. And Rick would say, oh, you do not. And it was just mud slopped around in there. But they never did come clean. And we got in big trouble from Grandpa when we got home with those black, because we had black, that black mud, we were covered in it. And I remember Grandma saying, what are you going to do with those frogs? And we didn't know, of course. I think they were going to go to the woods. They all had them to the Yeah, all had them to the front yard. <laughs> but when my kids came back to the farm this past summer, they went looking for frogs too, because they had heard our frog story. And that wasn't our only story. We had lots of them. We, we always used to chase this bull. Rick had this broken hand on that long piece of rubber, and he hit at those. There was one old bull. And we'd always try to get it to chase us. I remember Grandpa didn't know that. I'd wear my jacket wrong side out because it had a red lining. We tried to get <laughs> and we had, I had moccasins on one time, I remember, and we were trying to get it to chase us, and you were hitting at it with that long sand belt thing, and it stepped towards us, and ah, we were on, and I lost my moccasin on a cactus, and we didn't even go back for it, we just kept on falling, because we were sure it was after us, but I don't think it really was, I think it made a couple steps, and we, ah, <laughs> I remember Kathy and I broke our share of eggs also. Yeah, and we remember we put uh, gravel and water in the gas tank one of those cars. Yeah. <laughs> we had big trouble for that. Oh. I thought Rick was an angel. You got, you got, <laughs> you got silver dollars and we got 25 cents a day for helping him harvest. Well, we got it for nothing because we were the we great grandkids. We got grand it for kids. nothing. We got it for nothing. <laughs>
we were in a straw barn. And it wasn't because we were smoking, that we, but we could have set the barn on fire. And we got the biggest licking of our lives because we were in that barn with the so-called cigarettes. Who else was in there with you? Huh? Which ones? John. John. We were there. We were always. <laughs> <laughs> you, and, you got a lick and I did too. And I was always, if they got one and I didn't, I felt so sorry for them. But if I got one, oh. they didn't. Ha, ha, ha. They thought that was big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but you got that same licking for smoking those corn silk cigarettes. Was and mom smoking all in too? It together. No, just oh. the boys. And oh. Me. <laughs> was the liquid with the razor strap? Yeah. Never mind. That must be a story because I don't you know, remember. <laughs> I, not a I said story. we might all, not all remember it the yeah. same way. <laughs> you, were there. you were there. Was the liquid with the razor strap? Probably, because that's usually what he used. I remember it hanging there. It was a real threat. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. But that's all it was. With grandkids, yeah. we never. Yeah, we know. You know, I we didn't even get a threat. I can't even remember getting a threat. Well, I just, I just knew the stories of being spanked, and that was enough. <laughs> well, it was tough. Well, I have one. I may be young. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Back then, I was young, though. But Margaret and I used to go over to Geddes' house and cook. He was the best grandfather because we made all these horrible concoctions of everything in the kitchen. And, you know, we'd use up his groceries, I'm sure. And then he'd eat it. <laughs> I baked him a cake once and it was so bad. He valiantly ate it, but the dog wouldn't eat it. <laughs> and the other thing I... He, Oh, it was good, you know, and I know it wasn't. I looked out something. I thought I knew it from memory. And, left, and he ate it, and the dog would eat. So, you know, it couldn't have been very good. Well, I can't believe anybody didn't remember the slop bucket that was happening. Oh, I, I was reaction of that. Oh. Al was the winner, John. Well, the only story, the one story I remember about Norma is she hated oatmeal, and, and this was before my time. And so she decided that to get rid of it, you know, there was an animal to feed it to, so she put it in the slaw bucket. But unfortunately for Norma, it floated. Got <laughs> in big trouble. But see, we always had such a good time out there, too. But it, you know, totally different. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Did, you guys mentioned other kinds of cookies. I don't remember Fig Newtons. Yeah, that's, that was a cookie. And Ken yes. milk for your cereal. If, unless it was coffee. Yeah. Coffee. But that when mom coffee was around, we couldn't have coffee. Yeah, we couldn't put the coffee on our cereal when mom was around. <laughs> we also had chocolate that would stun our girl. with chocolate filling. That were, they were just so special because we could get stuff like that at home. I don't remember that. I must have given that old. to the younger ones. <laughs> yeah, how about, if, you, well, go ahead and have dinner now because I think they must be about ready.